Hi guys, long time no see. I know I've been MIA for quite some time, but I say that literally in every single video, so I'm not even like, it's YouTube is just not a priority for me. Life has taken over. Um, things are still the same. Nothing has changed. I'm still like, in the same spot, still single, still doing my own thing. But I wanted to show you guys today my current favorites. Um, I know I haven't done a favorites video in a while, like just a little bit. So I want to give you an updated favorites. So let's go on with skincare. Skincare, I have a few pro skincare for a few products here. The first I'm going to start off with is my um, it's a Cora Organics uh, Noni Glow Face Oil. Um, as you guys know, I have really dry eczema skin, and oils is something that I incorporate into my skincare routine to help give me extra moisture. I'm really dry around my mouth area here, and also like in the middle between my nose, not between my nose, between my eyes. And I find face oils help me the most with it, not just using a moisturizer on its own. So I like to use an oil with it. And the Noni Glow Face Oil from Cora Organics has given, given me life. Normally the oil I use is the Josie Marin Argan Oil, and I found this one's even more moisturizing than the Argan Oil. So I've switched over to this one. I still have my Josie Marin one, but this has saved my life. It is kind of pricey, but totally worth it, especially if you have really dry skin. And next product is the Laneige eye sleeping mask. I love this product. Um, this is actually given to me by a friend. But um, I love this because the applicator, so you just run it underneath your eye area and it's also very hydrating. At first I wasn't sure like how it was going to be because she wasn't a fan of it so that's why she gave it to me. So try it out and I love it. This actually comes with a good amount of product and it's pretty affordable for what it is. I think it's around like 30 something dollars. But so worth it. The eye sleeping mask from Laneige. So good. And last skincare product is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I love this product so much. It's probably like my second container of it, but it's delicious. It's amazing. I highly recommend it, especially if you have really dry skin. Um, I use this only at night. I don't use this during the day, so I don't know how it is during the day, but at night, it gives me life, and I need hydration, so this is it. And then, next product that's related to skin, kind of, is this Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. It's in the color 004. I believe it's the the coral one but this I love this so much I'm not wearing it today but this is like my go-to like lip I can't think about what I want to wear so I put this one on but this is actually the same color that um Megan Merkel wore on her wedding day so the Dior lip glow in the color 004 it is gorgeous it looks like it's orange like right out of the packaging here but it doesn't come off that way it's more like a nice pink pink coral type of color so I really like it it's just like more of like a tint on your lips it's more for people who do not like lipsticks or lip glosses it's for people who like balm so this is more for you next is a tool that goes along with one of my other favorites this is a Sephora Pro Slanted Buffing Brush Pro Slanted Buffing Brush I love this um brush here. The main reason why is I use it with my cushion foundations. So the cushion foundation that I've been loving is the Miracle Cushion from Lancome. I'm the color 10 Alabaster, but I don't use the puff thing that comes with it. I just use this. So like it's flat and domed here, has tons of bristles, and, it just, and it's domed almost similar to like this thing here. So I just dip it into my cushion and just press it all over my face. But this is a number not 88 brush, but this has been giving me life. I love it so much. Um, I highly recommend a type of brush like this if you're using a cushion foundation because it makes a huge difference with applying it and also you can wash it really easily as compared to these ones. You have to just have to buy a new one. And another tool that has been my favorite, I actually stored in my little Sephora little baggie here, is this Nurse Jamie Uplift Massaging Face Roller. Beauty roller, sorry. So this product, I actually got it like almost like two days ago, and I can tell you I love it so much. So basically, every night when I lie in bed right after do my skincare routine, I use this all over my face. I'm just gonna do my neck now because I don't want to put it like over my makeup. But this gives you life. It's so nice. It I waited so long for it to get back in stock at Sephora. It was like eighty eight dollars, but it's the best thing of life. I got inspired by Tati because Tati she has this, and I'm like, I want to use it too. I want to make sure I look young forever, even though I'm like turning thirty one next month. Meh, whatever. But I just stored right in here. But for people who want more of a lifting effect on their face, and just like in case anything's like sagging or nothing, this will help lift it up. And I store it in my little Sephora bag here. It goes with the theme because it's purple and it's kind of like iridescent, so that's fun. Next favorite that's related to like makeup and like face stuff is this Benefit Boeing Airbrush Concealer. 
I got it in the shade number two. I'm wearing it underneath my eyes right now, but it's basically a sheer to medium concealer that I usually may mainly wear this underneath my eyes and also around like areas where I feel like I want to conceal a little bit, but I use this with my finger and it's amazing. It's really hydrating. It's like almost like an airbrush type of effect. It's called the airbrush concealer, but like it just goes on so smooth and it's just so beautiful. I highly recommend this. Um, and it's pretty affordable too for what it is. Uh, next product, I'm wearing this today too, it's the Guerlain Terracotta Light. It's the Sun Kiss Healthy Glow Powder, light and long lasting in the color Natural Rose or Natural Cool in the number two color. But it looks like this. So it's like a mixture, it's like a sunburst mixture of like pink tones, bronzer, and a sh matte bronze and a shimmery bronzer. So you just swirl it all together and you just brush it onto your face like you would contour your face with it. And I really like it because it gives you not just like a bronzed look, but it gives you like a healthy type of glow because there's pink in it. It also smells really nice, like signature like Guerlain scent. And I highly recommend this. I know it's pricey, but like it gives you that natural glow. If you're one of those people who don't wear blush and bronzer, but you want to blush bronzer, this is it. So I highly recommend this. And next is eye products. Um, this is the Urban Decay Space Cowboy Eyeshadow. I love this so much. So basically it looks like this, but what I love about it, I use it either alone or as a top in front of my current eyeshadows. But like, it's so iridescent. Like what it does, it just makes it like a shimmery like top coat for your um, eye looks. And just gives it a lot of like glam. Like it's like a pop of like gorgeousness on top of your eye. And it took me a long time to find that too because I was out of stock for like quite some time. Uh, next is this Makeup Forever... Oh my god. Brow pencil. I love this. This is the number 40, but this is a brow pencil I've been using quite a lot. Um, I don't know how long it was before, but I love this because it's on one side it's more exposed and the other side is like shorter, but it makes my brows be filled in super quick and I like it. So this is what I'm wearing on my brows right now with the Benefit Gaming Brow as well. And speaking of Benefit, I also have their new Brow Contour Pro. So this is a pencil that has like a four-in-one sort of situation. So it has a lighter shade, the darker shade, the highlight shade, and the definition shade. But the key thing is you need to have time in order to use this. So the way it works, you just press it down to whatever color you want and then you twist it here and then it comes right out to the bottom part here. Um, I wish it came with some type of spoolie or some type of thing where you can actually blend the color underneath your brow or like on top of your brow. That's the only thing I would say, but it's, it's a lot to already have in like one tool. But I really like this because when I was in school, especially like high school, I high school and like university, I always had those cool like color changing pens. And this was like, this reminds me exactly like that. So that's why I love this. But you need time in the morning in order to do this. It's not for like this this is when I'm like in a rush or like when I'm just like really lazy but if you have time use this the, uh, benefit brow contra pro so worth it and next in relation to eyes is this uh, Stila glitter and glow trio that I got so I got three colors I got kitten karma gold goddess and diamond dust so these are the Stila Glitter and Glow. So you basically can do a cut crease with it or just add like glitter to your eye look, like a liquid glitter. Um, these are nice. However, they're kind of hard to like apply. I put it straight on from the applicator and I don't have any eyeshadow underneath usually. And it's like put it on. But I find it doesn't layer very well. I have to work in very thin layers. It's just like, it's kind of tricky. But once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. But I didn't want to buy the full size of this because I can't see myself using it so much. So I just bought the, the trio size. They came on Sephora website, so it comes with like the, so the Kitten Karma is more like a pink, the Gold God is obviously a gold, and the Diamond Dusk is like a silver, so I got the pink, gold, and silver combo for that. And my last favorite is, not favorite, my last beauty favorite is the Anastasia Norvina palette. So as you guys know, I have br brown eyes, like dark brown eyes, and I find purples look the best with brown eyes, so this is, oh, this is the palette right here. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I find the shadows like at the very top you have to apply with your finger because I find like in the inner corner of my eye area for some reason it just flakes off if I use a brush. So I highly recommend using your fingers to apply it not just using a brush because for some reason it flakes off for me even when I use eyeshadow primer. So use your fingers for the super metallic glittery shades. Um, and I also want to discuss um, a movie favorite. Movie favorite, oh my god, I'm obsessed with Crazy Rich Asians. Like, I watched it opening weekend when it first came out. I watched it twice opening weekend, and I watched it a third time. So I've seen the movie three times in total now, and I'm, like, super obsessed with it. I have a problem, but I don't even mind. Like, I never read the books, but I want to start reading the books because I heard they're really good. So, yeah, I want to start doing that, and that is, like, my favorite movie so far this year. 
I think. I would say, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. It's so good. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions in regards to any of my favorites, let me know. I'll let you know how everything is going. But yeah, that is all for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!